is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you guys here today this is fsd beta v12.3 we are on um the american legion bridge here on 495 we are looking to make some uh, lane switches exits a couple of series of challenges coming up ahead so I got FSD in control as you can see it's already scanning the lane ahead on the right and trying to switch there it goes and our goal here is to get on to Georgetown Pike heading towards Route 7 so if you're familiar with this area we're now officially on the bridge and exiting Maryland and uh, as soon as we get on the other side of this bridge we'll be in Virginia officially just like that as you can see the welcome to Virginia sign right there Virginia is for lovers shout out to all my Virginia people all right so what we're looking to do is take Georgetown Pike and I like how FSD put me in this lane already knows that I'm trying to be taking the exit and uh, it, it did it for me right so this right exit is taken to uh, George Washington Memorial Parkway and to stay in this lane, um, we want to take uh, Georgetown Pike, which is the next exit. So it should switch lanes here. And uh, let's see how it does doing that. This is FSD's latest update. And this is Tesla's biggest strides towards artificial intelligence driving. These are neural nets working. And, and it's, it's actually remarkable so far. I have been really astonished with this update and it took that exit really nicely and uh, we're looking to make a right onto Georgetown Pike coming up here so far my um, initial like reaction to this has been astonishing and I, I've been driving around for about a week now using 12.3 and my experiences have been unbelievable like it's literally just press the gear stock down one time and that's it it's now doing all the driving for me look how it took that right smoothly switch lanes into the middle here now we are officially on Georgetown Pike this is Virginia's first historic highway and what's cool about it is that it still looks like it did way back when they built this road um, other than some of the lane markings and the houses but they try to keep this like nature preserve back here so we are cutting through some little mountain valley if you go to the right there's a ton of rock formations where people go hiking it's like one of our big attractions out here and uh yeah it gets pretty busy on the weekend so very curvy sharp turns coming up here so we're gonna really judge how fsd does its thing we have no speed limit set notice it says max uh, it's just gonna use the dynamics of the road and uh, make its speed choices acceleration choices based on that look at this sharp turn we have coming up here and FSD slowed down very much just like I would I, you know I, I would take that turn identical honestly and uh, I like the way it's it's feeling less computer like driving you know, like some of the previous versions, you could really tell that, hey, this is like a computer software driving. But this one, it's it's a it's a leap forward from 11.49. So for anyone that hasn't sat in a car running 12.3 or been in the driver's seat, passenger seat, you're in for a treat. The car can drive itself. And I'm talking in, even in complex parking lot situations, check out some of my videos I already have astonishing results so far and um, yeah I've been really putting it to the test like seeing like cars parked in random spots seeing if we can get around it and uh, overall it's it's prevailed like um, pretty much every single time I did have one system aboard I did record it um, you should be getting that video out of me soon to make sure to upload that and uh, I don't I, I don't know what happened in that video but it aborted out of 
nowhere on just a straightaway. Uh, shout out to Cyberlift. Um, I asked him about it on Twitter and he said that he had the same issue. He thinks it was because of the sun glare. And yeah, I didn't even think about that. It, it very well could be. So I don't know. I'm going to take a look at that video again and be sure to, to upload it. But other than that, it's been a whole week and uh, it's been amazing. The car is driving itself it's it's kind of boring to be honest there's like nothing you know to look forward to as far as takeovers it's not that i look forward to taking over but i'm i'm so used to the car making you know potential wrong decisions in like tight spaces where i know i could just do better so i'm just going to take over but with this version i find it doing what i would do if not better I mean, you gotta keep in mind, it's got cameras all around the car, right? They can see in front, they can see behind. It has better peripherals than I do. It has peripherals to the side and towards the back. So it's, it's a true 360 degree angle that it's given us. Um, and with you and the car's ability, it's, it's really like, it's almost like an extra layer of security on the road. You know, it's a nice tool to have. Because in any other car, you have your abilities. But now you've got the car abilities mixed with your abilities. And it's like, you know, limitless possibilities now. Uh, with uh, which you can you know, drive. I saw this post on Twitter where someone said that you can drive from Washington, D.C. to L.A. in a Tesla for like $300 and uh, wow imagine that you know with the supercharging costs and uh, you can have like you know five people in the car and a bunch of luggage and do that maybe with the weight it'll cost like $400 but still I thought that was pretty interesting and uh, who knows maybe you get a cross country <laughs> video out of me one day I, I would have to do some really intense planning for that so but I think it would be really cool especially on FSD to see you know it, it, what it's capable of and uh, here we go with some really tight sharp turns right here um, nature preserve areas so you, you know potentially get deer running and stuff like that little rabbits and stuff so you got to be really careful out here a really nice job slowing down taking this curve beautifully i mean it it used to drag a little bit on these turns you can see some of my old videos i have this exact drive posted and um it's it's doing a way better job here we go with probably the most sharp turn in the entire video coming up here really nicely taking it at 20 miles per hour perfectly and take a look at how it just merges into this part of the road to my left here is difficult run for any of the locals that know that is the spot you park your car go hiking there's like a nice stream a lot of rock formations for you to, to climb into the river it's it's really scenic back there so yeah, now that the weather is getting better, you're going to start seeing more people out here. Um, but for some reason today, it's still like in the 40s, like 48. But we, we've had some pretty good days already here in the DMV area. So we're looking forward to some better ones coming up now that spring has sprung. But yeah, I'm just really astonished with the behavior with 12.3. It is a... It is the future of driving i mean um witness witness it with me make sure you hit that like button if you you know enjoy this video i'm trying to show you like uh, real life scenarios here where nothing is pre-planned or um edited or just trying to cherry pick draw i'm showing you like my real life drives you know coming from 495 to georgetown pike a lot of people in the dmv take this route all the time um, it's a it's a way to get into DC. It's a way to get into Maryland for anyone that commutes that lives in Northern Virginia that may Work in DC or Maryland or vice versa. They're taking this route 
Um, this is uh, this is a you know heavily used road, so it's it's amazing that FSD can run down it with no problem. And uh, yeah, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.